Thank you for joining us as we learn about proper administration of several common seizure rescue medications. Prolonged tonic-clonic seizures or clusters of shorter seizures left untreated can sometimes lead to status epilepticus. Status epilepticus is a seizure that lasts for five minutes or longer or multiple seizures back to back without returning to a normal level of consciousness within a five minute period. Treatment within three to five minutes can often stop this from happening and help prevent permanent brain damage or death. You may prevent a trip to the emergency room if you treat seizures early by following your child's seizure emergency medication protocol provided by your doctor. There are many types of medications that your doctor can prescribe to help control breakthrough seizures. Today, we will be demonstrating how to administer the most common types of benzodiazepines usually prescribed. Diazepam or diastat is an at-home medication for patients two years of age and older on stable anti-epileptic drugs who require occasional use of diazepam to control increased seizure activity, such as breakthrough seizures or cluster seizures. If you are a caregiver administering diastat, ensure that you have read and understand the administration and disposal instructions section of the diastat full prescribing information included in each kit. When picking up your seizure emergency medication from the pharmacy, make sure that the pharmacist locks in the correct dosage on the diastat AccuDial as prescribed by your physician. These dosages are preloaded and are ready to use as indicated by a green ready band. Make sure to double check both syringes are locked in at the same dosage. Sometimes children with seizure disorders can have prolonged seizures, which can contribute to other neurological conditions, so it is important to treat as prescribed. Always follow your healthcare provider's directions for how much diastat to give, when to give it, and if it can be repeated. Keep all your supplies together in a safe and easy spot to get to them should you need them. Once a seizure begins, gather all your supplies and wait for the time prescribed by your doctor and seizure emergency action plan to administer the medication, typically between three or five minutes. First, remove the protective cover off of the tip of the syringe. Be sure the seal pin is removed with the cap. Lubricate the tip with the included lubricating jelly. Turn the patient on the side facing you. Remove the lower half of the person's outer clothing and undergarments to expose the buttocks. Bend their upper leg forward to expose the rectum. Separate the buttocks with one hand. With your other hand, gently insert the lubricated syringe into the rectum. The rim should be snug against the rectal opening. Count slowly out loud, one, two, three, while pushing the plunger in until it stops. Count slowly, one, two, three, while holding the plunger in place before removing the syringe. Finally, count one, two, three, while pressing the buttocks together to prevent leaking. Keep the person on their side facing you and continue to observe, noting the time diastat was given. Call 911 for help if any of the following occur. Make sure to follow your doctor's instructions. If the seizure continues for 10 minutes after giving diastat, or you use a second dose per your doctor's orders. If a second dose was given and the seizure does not stop. If the seizure is different from other episodes. If you are alarmed by the frequency of severity of the seizures. If you are alarmed by the color or breathing of the person or if the person is having unusual or serious problems. Remember, if you have any questions regarding the administration of this medication or potential side effects, please reach out to your pharmacist or prescribing doctor. You may safely waste the extra medication in the syringe that is left unused by disposing of the syringe at drop boxes outside some police stations, fire stations, or hospitals. Thank you for watching and make sure to reach out to your pharmacist or provider if you have any questions.